What's going on guys? It's your boy John Liquidator coming back with another video. So it looked like Don Staley has found herself back in the media in regards to Kayla Clark and Angel Reese. Guys, for this one here, we got to go all the way up to Indy. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> head coach Don Staley has funked herself back in the media after recently making some comments about Kayla Clark and Angel Reese dealing with this whole rookie of the year race. Now we know a lot of people has been speaking out about this rookie of the year situation and I'm telling you right now it's too early to see who's going to be the winner dog. We all just got to wait till the season play out. Well Don Staley spoke with TMZ earlier and she made some strong comments about the whole race in itself. It's being reported that Don Staley facing backlash from Kayla Clark fans after Angel Reese comments. Chicago Sky rookie Angel Reese is currently battling for the WNBA's Rookie of the Year award with Indiana Fever guard Kayla Clark. The two have broken countless records en route to being neck and neck for the prestigious awards given to the league's best newcomer. South Carolina women's basketball head coach Don Staley, an icon in women's sports, weighed in on the debate, revealed her pick for the Rookie of the Year award, and this is causing an out burst from the Kayla Clark fan base. With all that being said, let's roll the footage. If you had to evaluate it from your perspective, who who do you think is having that season, you know? Oh, so you're going to try to uh, put me in the controversy, right? No. you. I mean, they, they both are having great years. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. If I had to pick a, if I had to pick a, a rookie of the year at this time, um, like today, you had to pick, today, you know? It's, it's Angel. Yeah, she's Not a like, doubt. I mean, I mean, what she's been able to do with right. the double doubles. That was Don Staley this morning speaking with TMZ, letting it be known. If she was had to give out the award, it will be Angel. Now, that's crazy because uh, shocking information is coming out of Chicago about Angel Reese's record breaking performances. Today, it's a totally different story because Angel Reese's double double streak is now broken. Going up against New York Liberty, Angel Reese was looking to extend her double double streak to 16. She was two points shy of that against the Liberty today. She finished with eight points and 16 rebounds. And I'm telling y'all right now, New York was not about to let her continue that streak. Streak. Let's roll the footage. Game. Shot clock is off. Angel Reese has four Liberty players around her. And fans yelling to get the ball into Reese. Well, Lindsey Allen hangs on, and the Double-double streak for Angel Reese is over. She had a WNBA record, 15 straight double-doubles. And as you guys seen from that footage there, New York wasn't playing no games with Angel Reese and the Chicago Sky. A lot of fans have been stating that Angel Reese has been stat patting this whole time in regards to her double-double streak. And you can see the sheer frustration on her face while walking to the bench knowing that it's all over now. Angel Reese did not speak with reporters after the game, but Teresa Witherspoons did. Guys, let's pull it up right now. Um... It's one thing that we, we are very good in the paint, uh, very good in the range. Uh, we don't shoot as many threes as everybody else do. So we try to do what our personnel is great at. And that's what we're great at, and we try to stay with that. Um, I think everybody wants us to be like everybody else, but we want to be, be ourselves. Uh, we recognize how important three-point shooting is. Uh, we do have people who are capable of knocking it down. We're going to say you're on your left, Andy. Coach, you talk about that identity and who you want to be, and a big part of that, I think, is the post game when it comes to trying to feed into the post and stuff yes. like that. I thought the Liberty did, uh, you know, they were kind of all over you guys in the post, and double, triple teams just really denying the ball in there. What's kind of the counter to that going forward with the post game being so much of your offensive output? Well, it's, it's very simple. It's super simple. The game is easy. If they're going to have one person in front, one person in the back, the ball has to be skipped. That's it. Very simple. They're going to load in that way. You find, you allow the ball to find the open energy. That's it. That's the game. That's how the game is played. Like our team plays really dang hard. This team plays freaking hard. You know, take a look. How many free throws we get? Let's take a look. We're freaking aggressive too. We're aggressive to the win. You just said it. We play in the paint. We get three, four free throws. One in the second half. Okay, no say. 
go to Stephen. Say it right here, right? Hey, Coach. Um, we obviously talked about um, Kayla after the last game against the Warner most recent game against you. Of course, you had a good game today, but what in particular about her addition to the rotation really kind of stands out to you and kind of makes her a new piece for you? I mean, it's been working, just like she said. She's been working, waiting for her name to be called. Her name was called today. And she's playing extremely, extremely well for us. And we're going to ride that. We're going to ride that. It's something that we know that Nate can do. She's very versatile. I said this from the beginning of the season. Uh, she can play anywhere. She can do basically anything. A very strong body. We want to utilize that today if she's hit defensively. She can go and rebound for us. Uh, it was just great to see her come out and play the way she did. My name is called. She stays ready. Zachary, from your left. Hey, Coach. Um, Camila today um, did um, was able to hold her own going up against JJ. Um, mm -hmm. They came away mm -hmm. with a very solid performance, including crashing the boards uh, very relentlessly. Just wondering what your take was uh, on her performance today. Well, I was, I was happy to see the ball going in uh, and allowing our bigs to touch it. Uh, Camilla's always able to make her own corrections, uh, and she does it very well. Uh, it was good to see her touching the ball, being as aggressive as she could around the rim. Uh, I don't want to go any further with that because uh, I think she's pretty aggressive down there. He's a call sometimes. She's strong doing her thing down there. At the whistle blow. Um, we saw Michaela go two for two from three. I know you yeah. said you don't want this team to be like everybody else. You guys are going to succeed being like yourselves. But mm -hmm. um, how do you feel like she could potentially um, be an answer to to this team's three-point production in the second half of the season? Yeah, when you saw, she she took it without question. I always stood and said, let it fly. you wide open. I'm, I'm actually standing there screaming, shoot, shoot, uh, because she can. She can. She can knock those down. It was big for us. And, Big to see her with that level of confidence and playing that way. It was huge for us. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That was Teresa Witherspoon speaking with the media immediately after this loss. Right now, Kayla Clark is currently leading the WNBA in double-double streaks. Ain't that crazy how the door just revolves around Caitlin? Get down in the comment section. Let me know y'all thoughts about this. Keep them bells on because you know I'm going to bring you the news. And until next time, man, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out. Shake the